Sports Media folks. My name is Kofi Eduabura of Impetus Global Media and welcome to my channel. Here we discuss, you know, and we dialogue on any issues relating to um, multimedia stuff, graphics, video, 3D. And I'm actually a guy from Ghana. We're in West Africa. Yeah. Well, today there's been a problem that I chanced upon recently um, with uh, Premiere Pro CC 2020. And I was going up online to search for various solutions. Now, what do I mean? Now, if we come over to Premiere, let's open a new project. Quickly, just open up a new project and let's add in a video. Now, okay, just one video here. <clears throat> Sorry. Now, if we take a look at the video, what I've realized is that most of the times when we do screen recordings, we tend to want to speed them up. Like you want to do a time lapse or you want to do anything with screen recording. You would want to speed up the video. With Premiere, the, the way I do know it is that you right click and you go to speed duration. And let's say we want to set this at uh, 700 percent so we're going to have it from five minutes all the way to just 45 seconds of the, the video now but before then let us see how it actually plays first with spacebar hit it um, hold on let me quickly make it a full resolution yeah now you can actually see it playing it's actually a video i was doing for blender blender 3d and can see it actually plays really smooth over here now when you begin to add you know you know it's it's kind of slow yeah so uh, sorry for that um where i want us to really see is this portion where you start seeing movements so here is smooth all right no problem whatsoever okay now we are going to speed up this video to 700%. Now we have it at 45 seconds. Now watch what happens when I play the video now. Now you see it all becomes blotchy. You know, the, it kind of skips some frames. And trust me, when this I started experiencing this issue. I was I was really frustrated. It was really bugging me. How do you get rid of these things? So, um, I used to be a video editor, you know, um, way back, like you know, self-taught, and I don't know why this thing skipped me. But apparently, if you go on to this page, I've been reading a lot of issues that people have, been, you know, people have been bashing. Premiere Pro uh, about the issues that they've had when you come to even people have been saying you have to downgrade downgrade your your version from the 2020 to the 2019 um, once you get a load of this I think maybe this should help out solve a lot of these problems and be able to uh, get people to actually still use a uh, premium because myself it's been a while since i did video editing but adobe you know your, their products are top notch there's definitely no uh, advertisement <laughs> but back to the video um so what we have here is that the the that the video lags up now the problem that i realized was the video format that was used you know, whenever you record a screen, it actually saves it as a quick time movie. I don't know, but for some funny reason, I don't know, maybe it's because of my computer or something. But when you speed up those kind of videos, what you experience is this problem over here that we have, which is this blotchy stuff and which doesn't really look good for presentation. So what I 
realized and what I did was to actually use VLC media player to convert this video from a QuickTime movie player to MP4 using the H264 codec or something. Yeah, um, but let's go through the process. So I'm going to open my VLC and I think you can use basically um, very good video converters but I think VLC because it's free I'm yet to now dive into finding um, a very good uh, video converter to use for um, future projects so what I do is come over to convert or stream open media and when we come over to videos I'll select this one which is a 285 quick time movie so we hit open now it's already set to video h264 plus mp3 which is mp4 this is the format we want to go in for so we say file we'll say browse let me just put it on the desktop and say trial um, test and we hit save now we will just hit save so what is happening is it is actually going to run the video it's going to take us five minutes and 19 seconds so i'll pause the video and when it's about being done i'll continue so that we can uh, commence from there we are with the with We've finally been able to get the conversion to be done and it keeps asking um, users to blah 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 it wants to either keep the existing file or overwrite it if you click on overwrite it's going to restart the whole process again which we don't want so what i normally do is to just force quit um, vlc don't worry it will still be saved over there so i'll force quit it and now we will just head back to our desktop and uh, we have the trial test MV, MV, um, M4V, sorry. Yeah, so now this is the, the QuickTime format. Now we're going to import the MP4. Going to import the mp4 now we're going to drag this over here now it's the same thing you know like i think it's five minutes or something okay yeah let's just play the video and actually see it is almost the quality is almost the same as the quicktime movie and one thing also the file size becomes way small 39 over the yeah, i think that it was back uh, 383 uh, megabytes so this is also quite good for you know making sure your file sizes are um, kept as uh, um, a very minimal size so we're going to repeat the same process for this and yeah, let's stop this let's go to speed duration 700 percent good now we're going to make a direct comparison between the two so we have we have it here Okay, so this is the MOV or QuickTime uh, file format. Problematic. Now let's see also this one. And let's start from here. Now, now if you realize, oh, okay. Um, now if it, it kind of like skips everything. I don't know for some fun reason it does that, but let's do a quick let's do a quick um, render. So I hit I, select the first starting point, and then we also hit um, O. So we are only going to concentrate on these two. So we come to sequence, render in to out. So we'll quickly do a render for us 
So once that is done, we will be able to actually now see um, a proper, uh, a proper uh, comparison between the QuickTime and the MP4. And sometimes these things really, the simpler things sometimes can be very difficult to get a hang, hang of in terms of, uh, so I was thinking maybe how to install so many plugins or what, but it's just the file format that needed to be converted. So um, let's wait whilst it it's, uh, finishes up and then we'll continue. <clears throat> We're done with the uh, rendering out. So once it does the render, you see it gives a green, uh, uh, it highlights green, meaning it's now rendered to memory. So now we're gonna play this actually. Now, the first video is the quick time. Very blotchy, very blotchy. Now the second, let's quickly jump to this portion and now let's see how the MP4 Now I can tell way different now. Now all those problems that we had with the movements and all the all gone out. So this is a quick tip on how to make sure you get very clean speed ramps or time lapses. You know, whenever you want to do uh, videos where you want to speed up the um, your video, always remember to convert it to mp4 and you should be fine so uh thank you very much and uh do subscribe to my channel anytime i come up with uh new tidbits along the way i'll definitely share them i'll also be sharing uh, tidbits in other fields from 3d to um, photo manipulations to other stuff that we do and it will be a wild 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 chase out there you know um, multimedia always has its way of uh, always keeping us learning, you know, solving problems every single time. So thank you once again, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.